Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful channeled message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. So today I'm bringing the Divine Masculine 101s from Guided by Angels and then I'm going to use the Divine Masculine Honesty and Realisations from Sandra from World Illuminator 11. So what is it the Divine Masculines want you to know, Divine Feminines, in this moment? What wants to be expressed? And this is why these messages are so special because it helps you understand you, Divine Feminine, understand what's going on with this physical person and you learn more about this journey on a deeper level as well so the cards are very um jumpy i would say <laughs> they're flipping all over the place so what's coming through divine masculine where is it you want to start today what you want your divine feminine to know so two flipped out so i'm going to take it i think about speaking my truth divine feminine i really want to tell you how I truly feel. My feelings for you are real. So this has come at the right time, Divine Feminine, is what I'm getting, because you may have this at, this, at this time, before this reading, waves of doubt and confusion, and you're experiencing so much pain because you're not seeing results in the 3D, in the physical. And you're questioning yourself over and over and over again because your divine muscle hasn't spoken their truth. They're thinking about speaking their truth. They want you to know the truth and they want you to know that, that their feelings for you are real. That is the one thing that is real in their life. <laughs> their feelings are real. So you haven't got it wrong. You're not going crazy. So don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Because what you're feeling, your divine masculine is feeling, and it is so real. Because it's true, pure, unconditional love. And they're thinking about opening up to you, telling you how they truly feel. So what else wants to come through divine masculine? Um, they really do want to set themselves free. To have that courage tell you the truth divine feminines let's see what else is coming through i care what you think i care about what you think and i don't want to, you to think badly of me divine feminine and i know at this time you may be thinking badly of me because i haven't told you the truth out of everybody in this world you're the one person that i do care what you think of me <laughs> And the fear is that you think badly of them, um, Divine Feminines, because they haven't opened up and told you the truth. And you've been so alone, left to it, just to trust your intuition, to trust that deep in knowing. But, yeah. I have a file in my head that's all about you. Everything that we've shared with each other, that we've said to each other. All of the messages, all the texts that you've sent me. All of this plays over it in my mind. And I open this file at night time, when I'm alone, when I'm with myself, when it's quiet. And when I open this file, sometimes it brings so much sadness and pain. It depends on what I'm actually thinking about at that time, about the times that we've had, because I know that there's been upsetting times where we haven't been honest with each other and that we've been acting through fear, through pain that we have within ourselves. And there's times when I feel so alive and so happy because I'm thinking about the times that we had that were so special so precious and again it brings tears to my eyes and there's times when I, I get upset even when I'm thinking about the good times because I want that so much again I want to experience that again divine feminine please don't think badly of me I do love you my feelings for you are real I'm sorry that I haven't spoken my truth I'm thinking about this at this time and I know that it's going to set me free. 
it just gets a bit much at times. These deep emotions that I've suppressed for some years, they're rising. I've got so much going on in my life that I'm sorting out, that I'm having to face. It all gets too much for me. And I know that me speaking my truth and telling you that my feelings are real and it's not one-sided, it will open up so much for me and for you and it will bring so much peace to both of us. But the fear does come in and stops me. It frightens me. Because I know that then there is no going back. I don't want to feel immense pressure on this responsibility. But if I come forwards and tell you how I truly feel, that then it's going to go wrong. So that's why I do play it safe. That's why I do hold back, because I don't have to feel the responsibility, because I can hide away. And that's what makes me feel safe. Even though it feels so painful and it hurts so much not physically being with you. but feeling not good enough and as if I'm going to get something wrong or mess something up between us makes me feel even worse. Um, so yeah, they're still working through so much, this divine lesson that's coming through. To feel good enough for you, divine feminines, and the res this responsibility, thinking that they've got to do so much and give so much to you, they're having to break free from that. So let's see what's coming through from this beautiful deck from Sandra. The honesty and realizations. Nice clear message, please, to go on, Masculine. Okay, and you're, oh my goodness, there's far too many that's fallen, so I can't take all of those. Um, so <clears throat> there is so much. <laughs> oh my goodness, that one did a somersault, double somersault, time out. I have to take time out for myself right now to figure things out. So don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm avoiding you. I'm spending time with myself, sorting myself out. And I'm having these previews, these visions of me speaking my truth and setting myself free in the times when I'm with myself. So don't be offended, Divine Feminines. Your divine masculine needs this time with themselves. And when they're with themselves, they're with you anyway, divine feminines. That's when they're honest and true to themselves. Only you. The truth is, for me, there's only you. I may not be showing you or telling you about it right now. But trust me, when I say I will at the right time, yeah, I will at the right time tell you my truth. How I feel about you, that it is real and that you haven't got it wrong. So there may be things on your journey that's really confused you because there may be other people involved. And that isn't going to be for everybody, but certain things have been happening where it's just like, well, how could that be? You know, I must have got it wrong because my divine masculine's uh, shown an interest or they're with somebody else or they were married or all of those things that we do have to face on this journey. It is only you. You know that when you're in your heart space, divine feminine, it's only you. And if there are other people that are involved, it's for a reason, it's part of your journey. And your divine muscle is learning through that other person. And you're learning as well. You're being forced to, to go deeper within yourself, to find that love, that strength to see through the illusions, to love unconditionally. Because this journey that you're on is a path of unconditional love. And you're remembering that you are a being of unconditional love. Um... But yeah, it's only you. And even if there's no one else involved and your divine muscle just hasn't spoken their truth and you're wondering because you can't see and you just don't know if they're with somebody else. It's only you. It will always be you because you are their divine partner, their divine feminine. You're one energy, you're one soul. The same as it is for you. And as I said, sometimes you divine feminines have to move yourself away from certain relationships as well um but yeah you know that it's only you and that they have this desire for you divine feminine you are everything that i've ever wanted and more i deeply desire you in ways that you can't even imagine 
You can't even imagine, Devon. I love you so much. This desire, this passion I have for you. It drives me crazy. You are everything and more than I've ever wanted. And I can't believe that you're real, that, that you are my divine feminine. It's so overwhelming. And to be able to receive you divine feminine, this divine muscle has to feel good enough and they haven't felt good enough. And you haven't either divine feminine. You haven't been feeling enough to receive your divine muscle and they've been reflecting that back to you. You haven't been speaking your truth to yourself. You haven't been trusting your feelings and you're having to trust your feelings. You're having to speak your truth to yourself and to others now. You've been forced to, being on this journey. You've changed so much. But know that the reason why all this has gone on is because you're one energy and one soul and your divine muscle does reflect back to you and you're reflecting back to them the truth of who they are as well. Um, so I know that it's really um, harsh what I've just shared and we don't want to hear it. Well, the mind ego doesn't want to hear it, but it is the truth. And you do have to take responsibility. And I've seen recently that somebody has commented, you know, this isn't fair. Well, that's, that isn't, <laughs> that's coming from victim mentality. That isn't coming from heart space. And you're still doing this journey from mind ego. And this isn't what this journey is about. And you're dealing as if this physical person is separate from you. So <clears throat> you're going to have to dive deeper, beautiful soul. This is about you. That's what you have to remember. So the desire is off the chart at the moment. And this one flipped into my lap. I'm going to take it home. With you, I know without a doubt that I've found my home. I'm coming back home to you. That's what's happening at the moment. Me being on my own... Being with myself, having this time out is me coming home to you, Divine Feminine. It doesn't make sense in the 3D and the physical because it's like they're getting further and further away from you because they're having this time out. But this is the higher love. You have to have that higher perspective. You have to put love into the situation in all situations. And this is the truth. And by your divine masculine having time out, by you going through what you're going through, being triggered and questioning yourself, all of those things, it's you getting closer to you. And you're having to feel certain things so you can clear them. Because that's what's been in the way of you being home with yourself. You're making your way home by what you're going through in this preparation. And you making your way home is your divine masculine making their way home too. Because whatever you're doing for yourself, you're doing for your divine masculine. So they're coming home. And you know that when you're out of your head and you're in your heart space. When you're truly with yourself, you know that they're coming home to you. So get rid of this doubt. Delete it. Release it. Trust you. And smile. And let go of this attachment of, you know, wanting to know when this physical person's going to be turning up, you know, or speaking their truth, whatever your situation is, taking their mask down, just be open with you. That's going to happen in divine time. So let go and trust that it is only you. They do desire you. They love you so very much and they do care so much about you and what you think of them that they don't want you to think badly of them and they have this beautiful file in their head and it's all about you and this file is opened many times throughout the day <laughs> um and at night time yeah it's fully open this file and at the bottom of the deck is self-love i'm learning what it truly means to love myself i'm starting to become myself and put myself first in this time now and for me to be able to do that is huge because I haven't felt good enough to put myself first. I've just been doing things for the sake of it and because of what I've been told. I've had to really take a look at myself, at my life and how I've been living. And I haven't been giving self-love. 
I haven't been listening to myself. I haven't been allowing myself to feel deep emotions. But as you know yourself, Divine Feminines, we're forced to feel those suppressed deep emotions. Your Divine Masculine is really feeling. So I really do hope that this does resonate and it's helped and supported you, beautiful Divine Feminine, and that you are in your heart space. You may have started the reading being in your mind, ego, because you've experienced so much confusion recently because you can't see with your two physical eyes that there isn't anything changing in the 3D and the physical. So much is changing. And you know that as well because of the shifts that are going on within you. And when you're feeling doubt, having this confusion, give this compassion, understanding, be with yourself, be still allow yourself to feel don't be hard on yourself and think oh my goodness i shouldn't be feeling this shouldn't be feeling that you've been forced to feel so nurture yourself say to yourself it's okay i know that you're feeling this doubt this confusion but you're not failing i'm just having to work with these lower energies so i can remove them it's all about how you're speaking to yourself and um, through the times that you're triggered as well because we are going to go through life and be triggered and things are going to be activated within us but it's about having the awareness of how to deal with those situations um so anyway have an amazing rest of the day or evening whatever time it is wherever you're living and as i said at the beginning of the reading if you would like support everything you do need to know is in the description box down below about the services i offer and most importantly, stay focused, believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See you next time.